Hey, under the hood, Rome is a datomic database. I have built a smart block and have authored a post that helps you uh, exploit this capability of Rome. Uh, first, you need to go to my blog, open my uh, recent blog post and scroll down in the blog post. Actually, it's enough to come to uh, here and in the introduction to uh, where I have a link to the Rome uh, JSON uh, that you need to import with the smart blocks. If you click on this JSON, uh, you will get uh, a zip file. You unzip it and by importing it into Rome uh, using import files, uh, you can uh, you will import two files. You will import uh, the query uh, engine itself as well as a number of query examples. First, what you need to do is you need to come to uh, the query uh, engine and you need to open up common functions and you need to run this script. This is only once. Uh, next time this is going to uh, just run. Uh, also, take note that uh, this assumes that you have Rome 42 installed. Once you're done with that, you can come to the Datomic query examples here. I have an introduction. This is also covered in the post. Uh, this just tells you how to use the script. And then I have a whole host of examples, which you can just simply click and uh, execute so i'll show you a couple so first of all you may want to know how many pages you have in your graph so if i click on this button uh, then i quickly learn that i have exactly 2900 pages in my graph or i might be interested in uh, which are the pages with the highest number of blocks uh, excluding uh, code blocks uh, in Rome CSS and Rome JS, then I would just come here and again, if I click on query, then uh, I get a table uh, with all the results. Uh, you can see this table is scrollable, uh, so uh, you can view the results like this, but if you want to see all the results, then you can also come here, click to edit the block, and all you need to do is you need to remove the scroller class from the first div element and with that uh, this will extend to full length. Also uh, the full length uh, by default means 40 rows. Uh, I will uh, show you a bit later how you can change the maximum number of rows that are uh, produced. And finally I want to show you how a more complex query would look like. So if I look at, uh, I want to look at the children uh, of uh, all the pages uh, within the Rome namespace. If I run this query, then what you can see here uh, is a more complex query. Therefore, each page, uh, I have the details uh, under that page uh, listed. Uh, you can also um, go deeper and in my blog post you will see an example of how you can uh, go uh, even level deeper and pull uh, even more information. So let me now show you how you do your own queries. So let's first do a simple query. I type JJ to bring up my uh, Rome 42 smart blocks menu and I start to type Datomic. And first I'm going to select the simple template if I click enter, I immediately get a template that uh, is ready to run. So I, if I just want to try how this works, I can uh, simply click uh, uh, the button to run my query and I get the results. Of course, the point is that you can now start to replace uh, the query with your own. Also, you notice that uh, the template pulls up a, uh, a short help or reminder at top. If you don't want to see this, you can click to remove it and disappears. And if you want to get rid of it permanently, then go to uh, the templates, open up template, open up the query template and simply delete this part of the template and then uh, it will never show up uh, again. 
Coming back here, let me show you how uh, a complex example would look like. So if I want to, or an advanced example, if I choose the advanced template, then it looks very similar, except that now you can see I can change the maximum number of rows to a higher number, as well as I can add uh, rules and input parameters and do whatever uh, post-processing I might want to do. And then if I click Run Query, then I get uh, the table with results. So I hope you will find this query tool uh, helpful and also I hope uh, you will enjoy uh, playing with data in your own graph. Thank you.